In this video, we're going to introduce the tabular data processor. So first off, let's talk about what tabular data actually is. Well, it's relational information like you'd find in a table or a spreadsheet that is split up into rows and columns. And any of the data in there can contain text or dates or numbers or any other data type. So RAMP was originally developed to focus on the processing of raster data, but very often in that case, you need to be able to manipulate tabular data for the pur purposes of binning it or as supplemental or ancillary information as an input to a processing method that subsequently processes raster information um, in addition to the ancillary information that you provide to it as um, tabular data. So there are a whole series of methods. If I click on the tabular data processor here, there are a whole series of methods for manipulating ta uh, tabular data um, in the form of standardized ASCII CSV files. So RAMP expects tabular data to be presented in a standardized ASCII CSV format. So what does that mean? Well, the data has to be in an ASCII form. It has to be tabular, so it has to be delimited into rows and columns. And it needs to be standardized in a way that RAMP understands it. If RAMP doesn't get data in this standardized format, it doesn't really know what to do with it. So let's look firstly at what is a standardized ASCII CSV file. And the documentation in RAMP tells us that. So I'll go to the file format definitions in the help file. And it talks about the standardized ASCII CSV format. And it tells us it's a standardized format for tabular or relational data. It's implemented in ASCII, as we just discussed with one header line that defines the names of each field. So each field is a column in a, if you think of uh, t uh, relational or tabular data in rows and columns, it's a column um, where the names need to be uh, defined in as being alphanumeric without spaces, um, but we don't really care too much. It's not enforced that well. Um, and the data records that follow that, so the uh, rows that follow the header line um, are comma separated and each row is delimited by a carriage return or line feed. So each row is presented in a separate line. Let's look at some examples so that you can see what all this, um, what all this means in practice. So I'm going to use the RAMP ASCII data inspector tool and we're going to look at what does a standardized ASCII CSV file look like. Okay, I'm going to open this uh, CSV file here, this ASCII CSV file, and it contains positional information from a survey file. So we can see here, it's standardized because I have at my first line, I have the names of all the fields in that are in this um, ASCII CSV file. So by fields, I mean columns. And each column name is delimited by a comma. And then that, that header line is followed by all of the data. So, and each data item is also delimited by a comma. So there needs to be enough data lines, uh, enough commas in here to match the a uh, header line that defines which fields map into this um, map into the columns. Um, and then each line in itself is delimited or separated by a line feed. So that is basically a new line for each row of data in the file. So this is what's called a standardized ASCII CSV file, a header line that's comma separated that tells me about the columns and um, line delimited data that are separated by commas to define the columns. Let's look at some data now that is not considered to be standardized ASCII CSV data so that you can see the difference. So I'm going to open another file now. 
Actually, before I do that, I should show you what this file looks like when you put it into rows and columns. So I'm going to open the same file we just looked at. And now you can see it in, in rows and columns. So this is the advantage of it being um, standardized, is that we have the column names across the top. And then for each row, we have a series of data. OK, let's go back and let's look at what I was going to show you, which was data that is not considered to be standardized. So I'm going to open this data set. This is a uh, data set that comes from the uh, Japanese Department of Defense or Mapping. And it is some terrain data. And immediately you can see that this is not standardized. It doesn't have a header line. And it doesn't have commas separating the fields that are in here. So clearly the fields have this uh, 1 and 0 field. This looks like it was is probably a uh, latitude and longitude and then some sort of value in here. And these, these values are not separated by commas. They don't have a header line. So this would be considered to be not a standardized ASCII CSV file. And um, in fact, it probably is a fixed width file. So we'll look at how to deal with a fixed width um, file a little bit later on. Let's look at another data file now. So I'm going to open another profile that we probably couldn't consider to be standardized ASCII CSV. And I know there's a lot of files in here. Uh, where is it? This one. OK, so at the top, we have a header line that looks like it probably is standardized because it has a series of names that are separated by commas. But then it has a whole series of hashtag information, which is in this the case of this file is metadata or comment information before it follows uh, a series of uh, data lines that are indeed comma separated. So this would not be considered to be a standardized ASCII CSV format because it contains these uh, hash or comment lines in there. Let's look at a few more sort of uh, esoteric formats. Um, I'm going to open this file here. Now, many of you will recognize this as an XML file. So clearly, XML files are not standardized ASCII CSV files. So this is out. This doesn't work. Although we'll look later how you can import this data uh, into a standardized ASCII CSV so that you can actually work with it. OK, let's look at one more file. And we're going to look at a JSON file. And again, you guys can see that this is not standardized ASCII CSV format. In fact, in this case, this is a JSON file. So it's a, a JavaScript um, simple object notation uh, file that encodes information into in an object-oriented way that JavaScript likes. And again, we'll look at how you can take JSON data and convert it into a format that a standardized ASCII CSV format that RAMP will like. So let's look at the different methods that are in the tabular data processor. So this is a tabular data processor, and it provides you with, and you can see here, a whole series of different methods that allow you to do a bunch of different things uh, to standardize ASCII CSV data. Um, the first few that are in the list are around standardizing data. So these allow you to take normal ASCII files that maybe aren't standardized and reformat them so they are. Um, you can take fixed width data like we looked at in the second bad example of a, a data set and convert that to standardized ASCII CSV. And indeed, in the last two previous examples, you can take XML or JSON data and also format those and map those into a CSV file. The other things that uh, the uh, tool provi uh, the processor provides are methods for interrogating the data. So you can list the number of fields and their names in the data set. You can get the uh, unique values for specific fields. You can generate statistics for particular fields. You can generate um, histograms for the entire distribution of data for a specific field. Um, you can extract, um, you can uh, 
order or recode the data. You can round values in there. So you can do a bunch of different things that relate to interrogating the, the uh, data set. The other thing you can do is manipulate the data. So we can see some methods in here for remapping fields that takes different uh, that takes fields that you identify and remaps them to specific uh, output fields in, in different orders. Uh, you can drop or delete entire fields, rename fields, you can change the header, so essentially that re renames um, the fields. Uh, and then you can do a bunch of things around extracting. So that's, I guess, the next uh, set of methods that you can use. Ex you can extract data, exclude data, include data. So look for a range of values and extract those or exclude those from an output. Uh, you can look for flags in data. That's a sort of a text pattern um, recognition flag. Anything that's not numeric, you can get rid of in a specific field. Um, you can convert, uh, convert data. We'll come back to that. You can order data by certain value fields, look them up, recode them, append data, that sort of thing. Uh, the other ones are around calculation of data. So you can take fields, multiple fields, and you can use them in a calculation to create a value for a new field. Or you can read a single field and generate a, and apply some processing to it or provides uh, apply some logic to it and output a new field. So you can see some of these examples here. Um, convert a POSIX number into a date time, convert a um, date time to a POSIX number, calculate the proximity of say uh, an XY field combination to another XY field combination. You can reorder the data, look it up, recode it, uh, do that sort of thing. The other area is merging data. So you can take a raster data set as long as a uh, ask standardized tabular data set has X and Y values and you can take the values of a raster, match those to the X and Ys and append those raster values to the data set. You can do things like um, uh, split the file into a series of um, smaller files. You can take a series of files and merge them into one file. You can decimate a data set so that you can say, look, I'm only interested in every second or third or fourth um, record. Uh, or you can decimate a data set based on a numeric threshold that you define for the value of a certain field. And then you can do things like joining two tabular data sets together. So this is like a classic uh, join that you might do in a database. So you can match values together. You can do what's called a soft join. So you can match, uh, particularly applies to numeric data. You can match the nearest uh, matching value. You can do a spatial join. So if you have uh, two files that have two spatial, so two X, Y um, fields in each of those files. You can join them together based on the closest proximity of those two coordinate values. And then lastly, what this allows you to do is reformat data. So take standardized ASCII CSV files and make them non-standardized ASCII files. So make them tabular delimited, do whatever you want. So that's an overview of the whole series of functions, uh, sorry, methods that are in the Tableau data processor. Uh, more and more of these are gonna get added. It's getting a little bit unwieldy because there's so many of them in here. But if you want to look at how to do specific things, the following videos in this same playlist will show you specifically how to do certain uh, things like uh, standardized files and, and that sort of thing. So I hope this has been a um, useful introduction to the tabular data processor in RAMP. There's lots of stuff in there and we'll make more videos to talk about them in more detail. Thanks.